Okay, Andy. Let's continue. Okay, so where are we? Yeah. Okay, wait, Andy. Please, Andy, continue. There are a lot of people in the market today. Yes, that's because the food is cheaper here. Are we going to buy something? Perhaps. Look, there's David. Where? There, he's wearing a blue jacket. He's buying some onions, I think. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Where's Emma? She's usually here on Saturdays. She's got a red car, hasn't she? Yes. Why? I can see her. She's standing by it. Look! And there's Michael. Oh, I don't know him. Who is he? He's standing next to that tree. Oh, is he the policeman? No, he's a boy in my class. The policeman is his dad. And do you remember your dad's friend, Paul? He's here, too. No. Which one is he? He works here in the market. He sells fruit. Look, there he is. Is he the man with the beard? That's right. Look, there's Daisy. Is that the girl in the red skirt? No, the girl with a dog. She's wearing jeans. Oh, I know her. She came to my party last year. And look, is that your friend Sally in the street too? Where? I haven't seen her for a long time. Look, she's picking up the apples, fallen out of her bag. Oh, yes. Let's go and help her. Now listen to part one again. Where's Emma? She's usually here on Saturdays. She's got a red car, hasn't she? Yes. Why? I can see her. She's standing by it. Look. And there's Michael. Oh, I don't know him. Who is he? He's standing next to that tree. Oh, is he the policeman? No, he's a boy in my class. The policeman is his dad. And do you remember your dad's friend, Paul? He's here, too. No. Which one is he? He works here in the market. He sells fruit. Look, there he is. Is he the man with the beard? That's right. Look, there's Daisy. Is that the girl in the red skirt? No, the girl with a dog. She's wearing jeans. Oh, I know her. She came to my party last year. And look, is that your friend Sally in the street too? Where? I haven't seen her for a long time. Look, she's picking up the apples. They've fallen out of her bag. Oh, yes. Let's go and help her. That is the end of part one. Okay, let us check here. B and D, so we have here. Okay, so Emma is the girl next to the red car. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's Emma. Michael is the boy talking to the policeman. Where is Michael? That's right. Paul is the man with the beard selling fruit. Very good, Andy boy. Daisy is the girl with a dog on a lead. Oh, this is Daisy. And Sally is the girl who dropped apples. Oh, this is Sally. Okay, very good. Yeah. Next one. Now you have to listen about the new teacher. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. 
There is one example. Right, please be quiet, everyone. I want to tell you about your new teacher. When is the new teacher going to start teaching us, Miss Brown? Next week, Harry. Which day? On Tuesday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Which subject will she teach us? You ask a lot of questions, Harry. Sorry, Miss Brown, but I just want to know. All right. Well, she usually teaches maths, but she's going to teach your class science. And what's her name? Yes, that's important. It's Mrs. Shaker. Can you spell that for us? Is it S H A K E R? That's right, Harry. Excellent. And which classroom will she teach in? She'll be in classroom fifteen. And where is that, Harry? It's next to the school kitchen. Good. Now, this is her first job, so please be kind to her. I'll meet her in the car park, and carry all her bags and books. What colour is her car? Do you know? Blue, I think. No, sorry, it's black. The new secretary's car is blue. And can we? That's enough questions, Harry. Now we must start some work. Now listen to part two again. Which subject will she teach you? You ask a lot of questions, okay, Harry. Okay, let me check. Okay, so we'll start on Tuesday, and we're gonna teach us what? It's science, Andy. What is the name of the new teacher, Mrs. Baker? And the classroom number is number. 15. Classroom is next to where? Classroom is next to where? It is? Kitchen. Okay, next kitchen. to the kitchen. Okay. Kitchen. Okay, let me see. Okay, color of the teacher's car. What is the color of teacher's car? Black. Color? Black. Okay, okay, this one. Please. Lesson and write a letter in the box. Okay. Ready, Andy? Part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Helen's mum forgot to take lots of things with her to work today. Where did she leave each thing? Did you have a good day at work, mum? Oh, Helen, I had a horrible day. I love my job, but I left a lot of things at home this morning. I made some sandwiches last night for my lunch. I put them in the fridge and forgot to take them out. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I didn't have my umbrella with me, so I got all wet when it started to rain. My umbrella was in the shower. I put it in there last night because it was wet. Oh dear, I hate bad weather. Me too. And I didn't have my comb with me. Did you forget to take that with you too? Yes. It was in one of the pockets of my old coat, the one I wear in the garden. My hair was very untidy all day. And later on, I had to write a difficult letter, and I couldn't spell some of the words. I needed my dictionary to help me with that. But where was it? <laughs> on top of the television at home. I made some mistakes, I think. Oh, Mum. I needed to read about an important meeting, too. The writing was very small. I couldn't see the words. What was the problem? I didn't have my new glasses with me. I had them in the car yesterday, but then I left them on the table in the living room. 
You can read about it tomorrow, can't you? And at the end of the day, I got to the station late because I forgot my watch too. I left it on the shelf by the mirror here. I didn't know the time because there was no clock in the office, so I just guessed. Why didn't you ask someone? Oh, I was too busy. Tomorrow will be a better day. Now listen to part three again. Okay. I didn't have my umbrella with me, so I got okay. all wet when it started to rain. My umbrella was in the shower. I put it in there last night because okay, it was wet. Let us shower. Oh dear. Okay, calm. Very good. Okay. Oh, very good, Andy. And wow, perfect, Andy. Yeah, very good. Okay, you pick up. Very good, Andy boy. Great job, Andy. Okay. So, Andy, teacher, and don't have enough time. So, I will see you, Andy. Okay, when? Tomorrow. Right, Andy? All right. Yes. Okay. So, I will see you tomorrow, Andy. And with me. And we will gonna have more discussions for this. Oh, wait me for a minute. We still have three minutes. Okay, let us continue a little bit. Okay, so this one. Please finish. Okay, please finish, Andy. Part four. Listen yeah. and look. There is one example. What does Sarah want to do after school? Dad? My friends are going to see a film after school today. Can I go with them? Well, what about your homework? And you've got your music lesson today, haven't you? Yes, but the music teacher's ill, and I can do my history homework tomorrow. <sighs> All right, but don't be late. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What is Sarah's dad going to give her? Shall I take you in the car? No, thanks. We'll walk. It's not far. Well, take your gloves. It's going to snow this evening. I've already got them. But could you give me some money? Yes, OK. 2. How many friends is Sarah going to go out with? Who's going to go with you? Three of my friends. Betty, Sally and Kim. Isn't Emma going to go with you? You two are always together. No, she can't come tonight. Okay, so what okay. is Sarah's dad going to give her? Oh, it's money. And how many friends is Sarah going to go out with? Letter B. Very good, Andy. Okay, last one. Three. What's the film about? And what's the name of the film? It's called The Beach Party. But it isn't about beaches or parties. I don't understand. Well, it's about a group of famous singers. Four. What will Sarah have for dinner? Will you have dinner at home? We're going to have fish tonight. No, I won't have time. Can I take a sandwich with me? No. Buy a burger in town. That will be better. OK. OK. What is the film Five. all about? What's Betty's phone number? Letter A. I'll be home at nine o'clock. Betty's mum is going to bring us home in her car. All right. Not a minute later. What's her telephone number? It's 45665, isn't it? No, it's 45661. OK. Well, have a great time. And don't be late. Nine, remember?
Okay, teacher. Okay. What will Sari have for dinner? C. Oh, what's it's... Betty's phone number? 45661. Oh, very good. Yay. Okay, Andy, we don't have enough time now. Teacher Anne will say goodbye and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay? We double our okay. class today. Okay, bye-bye, Andy. See you Bye, tomorrow. Bye-bye.